everybody, this is Rick Morgan, your friendly comic book scientist, yet again, cleaning another book. So this one, these one, I got a few. You're gonna be Mad 1, 2, and 9. I actually may not have recorded myself cleaning two. Maybe just Mad 1 and 9 uh, from 1952 and I think 1954, or 1953, actually. And you can watch me clean them. They're old, uh, precious, delicate books, and the uh, owner of these books is not me, but he has graciously given me permission to um, to show what I do with these books uh, online, so you can you can see what's what's going on, what we do, and uh, how the work is done, how the sausage is made here. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, take from it what you will. Take care, bye bye. Hello, folks. So we have here a Mad Magazine number one from 1952, and this book is it's in it's in fair poor condition it's like a 1.5 it's maybe a it might be good but i don't think so it's got accumulation of creases that add up to two-thirds of the size of it here in this and we have a i don't even know if that's bindery tear that's a split we've got tears here tears here um there's some wrinkly text here it says 100 I don't know if you can see that there's a little bit of uh, foxing or staining. We have massive discoloration, creasing, and these are this is like severe. You know, it's the whole cover. So, uh, and the spine is not aligned properly. So we are going to start by cleaning it, and then after we clean it, we're going to address. We're going to press it and address these wrinkles and planarity. So um, this is it. Let's take a couple pictures. And okay, so we're going to start by getting this book warm. This is a great book. I love this book. Happy to have it. This top plate has been pre-warmed and we are going to just get this book a little warm. We are not going to put a lot of pressure. I'm going to turn the pressure down. That is not what we're doing right now. We are just getting the book warm help clean it better and as soon as this temperature stops going back up and that's gonna sink 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 that means the book is acting as a heat sink and it's gonna go up in just a second there it goes now the book has absorbed some heat I'm gonna open this up this cover is going to push this out of the way here and get this. There we go. And see how the book is kind of rising up now that I've warmed it. This means that it's not a lot of moisture in it. So see how it curls like this? There's, it's it's a wet book, which is good. We want it to be a wet book. And we are going to start. You notice how I don't have gloves on because I need to feel where the soil is in this book. And there's quite a bit here. There's a lot of fingerprints and soiling. So we're going to get some. Immaculate clean. And the first thing we're going to do is now that the book is warm, we are going to put this underneath it and we are going to find some of this dirt. And it's not going to come off right away, um, but it will come off. So we want to work with a clean book because we don't want to press the dirt into a clean book and then it's harder to get out so we want that's why we press it last can you hear that sound yeah, we're just gonna wait here for a moment and we're just gonna get this and this is this stain here is coming out so we got that and we're getting it the dirt's coming and that's that we're gonna get the back now the back I could whiten this but this paper is so old I'm I'm afraid to whiten it in the traditional way with oxidizing compounds because it is going to get brittle and we don't want that there's a spot here growing on it and I'm going to get another pad don't want to we can want to put this in the press now because 
a lot of this would stick in the press itself. We gotta let it dry out for a while. And then we're gonna fix the spine. So much of this dirt comes off. I mean, we could clean a lot of this, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of dirt coming out, but I'm not gonna try to de-yellow this. I don't, I'm afraid of this paper. It's very old and brittle and I don't wanna clean it, over clean it. So we're just gonna let this sit like this. Get this page a little. And we've got quite a bit of dirt from the book. And we have gotta get that stuff out of there, which we will do, but we won't do it right now. And we're gonna let it dry. All right, so what do we have here? We have this, I don't know if you can see it, but you have this number one, this 100, hit 10 here. And we're gonna get that out with either a ball bearing or the back of our, I prefer this for small areas and the ball bearing for larger areas. And we are going to do that and then we're gonna flatten the book out. So let's uh, take a look here and see what we can do. Sorry, I'm multitasking. I'm gonna get this, I'm just gonna steam this area with the number 100 there. And it will get here in just a second. I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna go ahead and steam this in the front. until the paper relaxes, which it just did. And then I'm just gonna hold this up a little bit and not open it all the way, but just get the very back of the same spot. I'm gonna get the rest of the little book too. We'll flatten that out. There we go. So that's done and I've got this cutting board here. And to the 100 there, I'm gonna open the book to the center, which saves me a step because I have to do this later anyway. This book is a little rough, but I just want to make sure we don't hurt it any. And we are going to open it to the middle, which we've done. And I'm going to put a little marker there. And we are going to find that 100. It's right here. Okay. And I'm going to get it a little bit wet purpose is to make it more pliable and we've steamed it a little to make the paper relax generally but now we're really see how it's wet right here and then we're just gonna rub it a little bit in a figure eight with a sheet over it hold on just one second here I'm gonna start with this in very light pressure and see if that helps take it out And it does, quite a bit really. Um, yeah, a lot of it's out already actually. And then just use the back of this scupula. And sometimes I do like a figure eight. And then we'll get all of it, but we'll do this a few times and we'll come there. It's almost entirely out actually. The uh, the and I say almost entirely out, you're still going to be able to see it. You're going to say, hey man, you're full of baloney. But uh, you'll see that when it presses, it'll be gone. There we go. See that now? And then here, you can barely see it. Yeah, so that's what I'm just going to do this a couple more times. And then there may be a few pressing cycles in this book for us, but that's going to help out a lot with that guy. Now, um, there we go, it's almost entirely gone. So we have to push this book flat so that we can correct the spine, which we will do very shortly here. And we need to do this, we need to get it steamed first, which we're doing now. I'm gonna open the book up. And we're gonna try to steam a lot of this inside book so that it can flatten better. And I kind of get along the pages here. I mean, we could go through and do every single page, but it's really not necessary. 
this book's spine is so broken that I'm not sure it'll accept a new a new curve at all. So let's try this. And thing we're gonna do is we are going to press this board flat. Hold on. Now this book is bigger than our press when done this way, and that is okay. We're just gonna put a board right here. And I'm gonna put a little piece of paper between it and that first. And we are going to flatten this guy out so that we can reform the spine. Don't worry about this here because this isn't actually going to touch the book. It's only touching the board. And we're going to let that go for a little while. All right, so that book is now flattened. Let's take a look. Definitely flattened. And guess what? Our 100 is completely gone, like we thought. So we got that out. Nicey nice. We are now going to force the book to a new, while it's hot, to a new rounding. And it's going to go like, we're going to put this chamfer board right on the staples. And we are going to force it around. And we are going to take the book here and put it with a board on top. And we are going to press it and turn it on for another 600 seconds like this. And that will start us our new spine alignment, which is going to be square. And then we just wait. All right, so let's see how our little gem is doing here with this fall. We wait a few seconds. There we go. Comes the paper, the paving paper. How's our book looking? It looks pretty good. There's still some dirt here. We can see, and there the back looks looks pretty straight. Honestly, the spine is definitely straighter, although not perfect. But that's what we get. We don't throw a fit. Um, we cannot make that straighter because some of that's, yeah, we can't make it any straighter than we did. But it's straighter and it needs more cleaning. So we're going to do it again. We got to get that schmutz off the cover. That's probably not going to come out. And yeah, so we just have to do this again is all. But we're doing okay. I'll show you when we're all done. Our book has a nice new spine alignment on it. It's cleaner, although, I mean, it could be cleaner still, but I'm not going to go, I don't have orders to uh, whiten this thing. I'm just going to take it easy. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put a board on top of it. Make a sandwich. We are going to... The bottom of this is still warm. We're going to put this top on here. We're going to come back and press. And it should be a lot colder, about 150 probably. We'll see here what it looks like. Oh, 156. It should drop pretty rapidly. There we go. Right. And then about right now it's going to start going back up. You'll see increase temperature and from here it's a standard press here it comes what do you know well that's that I'll show you when it's all done it'll take a lot longer with this on it but it'll be a lot safer we plop this board on here and we're just gonna wait see what happens this is a hate knit unit and we are gonna bring it around I gotta fix that spine roll in particular but fix it we will so let's take a look at our mad number one which is a beautiful book by the way I don't like it 
and it looks pretty good now, I think. So, could we work on this more? Yeah, we could. Could we get that yellow spot out? Probably. It's a lot flatter, a lot plainer. I don't see the dirt spots anymore, so we're going to turn this book over. Then we've got some spine cracks here. This can be taken out with a little bit of cold pressing. We did straighten the spine out a little, but there's a lot of fold in it. Um, could we get all of this out? You know, could we make this look white again? Probably we could. Um, this paper's so old and so brittle and already cracking that I don't feel comfortable doing that. Sometimes the dirt is uh, actually part of the strength of a book. There's a little stain here too that's almost certainly foxing that I'm not going to remove. Um, I don't want to do that because I don't. I don't think that the paper could would hold up forever. I'm not going to dry clean it either. Um, I think it looks okay as is. I, I I like it. I'm actually quite happy. And here we go. Similarly, we have Mad Number Nine, and this one needs some mending, some paper mending, which you can actually have. I mean, tape is allowed up to grades, I believe, three and a half. You can see, um, we have to fix it here, and the front spine's really split quite a bit. There's like some bad splitting. This is locks us in at like, not even a two probably, but um, there's a chip here. But this is, um, you know, a piece of history. This is a great book and needs to be preserved, and preserve it, we will. Um, I won't go through the detail on this particular book, but there's some dirt to remove here mending and uh, general schmutz cleaning and uh, I'm happy to do it. It's a nice, it's a beautiful piece of history and I'm glad to have it and I will do do my best on this one. How fun. So what we have here is a, is a book that I'm going to mend a little bit and you can see this is mending tape. It's like archival mending tape and it once it sticks to this paper you'll never you'll never get it off again so don't try. But I'll show you what I'm going to do. And you can do this to, to like join books together and things. This book has got a really brittle paper. And you can get up to about a three and a half or a four CGC and they, they ignore tape up, up to certain levels. And this book is clearly far below that, so we're not going to have any problems with it. But what we're going to do is we're going to work this tape into here. And we are going to cut tape a little bit longer than we need. This is very difficult stuff to handle. If you've never done it before, it can be a huge, huge headache. And so I'm going to cut this not quite to the edge of the paper. And this is a little long. And right there. And we're going to cut it at an angle this way. And then we are going to cut it right here. Like that. There's a little bit extra, so we are going to cut that off as well. See how we do. Now you don't have to get the entire item done. Like that. You can come back and you can add more. So we're going to put this here. Then we are going to... Okay, it's noisy for a second, hold on. So here's the difficult part of this job. We need to get this in here without opening the book all the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this tape on our bone folder. And we got a little, we've got about a lar larger piece than we need. And we are gonna feed it in here to that area. See what I'm doing? And we're gonna pinch it. See, I'm pinching it down with the board, and then I'm going to remove the bone folder, and then I'm going to rub this down here. That's going to reinforce that one, and then we have one more to reinforce way, way, way deep over here. So it's going to do the same method here in just a moment. So here we go. Because this book is so extremely brittle, we're going to get way deep in here. 
we lift it up with one of our boards. We're going to go super deep. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing exactly. I'm going to go way deep in here. I'm just going to very quietly, this is like operation, touch that area. And then I'm going to slide this board in with my other hand. Pull this off. Let it close down. Now I can actually rub this out here. If you've got the idea this is extremely delicate, you're exactly right, because I could have ripped the cover off this book at any moment. Now let's see how it looks. So, now if we open it... Yeah, yeah that's a lot better. This corner still bothers me. Let me get the other half of that. Yeah, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not great, but it's not going to fall apart, like, immediately. I mean, I might not even try to make these transparent, because sometimes you heat those things, they become kind of sticky to the other side. And, I'm sorry, you should, I should, now I can open the book. This staple is off, is off completely, in any case, but, um, you know, now it's readable. Now I can at least open the book. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm going to fix this, this corner here as well. We don't want the other side of that coming off. So we're going to go ahead now that we can open the book, we are going to do so and we will mend the upper side of this corner. At this point, it's probably very boring to you watching me do this work, but again, CGC allows for mending tape up to a surprisingly high grade, so, and this book is definitely a goner without it, so we need to have this on here. I'm going to go ahead and put this, remember, line it right up to the edge of the corner. Put your finger, there you go. Not quite to the end, but this corner is now safe. I'm not using the the bone tool here. This is, I like the micro spatulas for small work, the bone tool for big work. All right, little buddy. There you go. There you go. Okay. And there's a chip right here. I'm going to fix that while I'm at it. We uh, don't want problems here. So, again, if I get this hot, you will probably not be able to see these at all. And maybe I'll show you an example. But. Yeah, this is why you want somebody experienced doing your books because this is the time when and I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> this looks easy. This is not easy. This tape loves to curl up on itself and get a lump under it. This tape loves to stick in two places at once and rip little pieces off of your book. This seems, I guess, I'm making it look easier than it is in the video. That's probably my fault, but it is not easy. There's lots of ways for this to go wrong. This is mended, and that staple was already pulled here, but I've already got a little bit coming up there that I'm going to work in. You have to go back several times over the next hour and just kind of work it in because it's going to try to like come up. And you'll look where it's not exactly seated perfectly and just keep the adhesive rubbing in. You can see that. So I made an executive decision, and this is going to fall in a couple seconds here. Uh, there you go. Okay. I made an executive decision that I don't want to. Um, by the way, I just did the static discharge so I wouldn't get shocked by that. Uh, I am not going to take a tacking iron to this book because the paper is so brittle. It is exceptionally brittle, and it is not going to come out well. You don't want to rub something brittle with a tacking iron. Tacking iron is kind of a violent way to do things and we don't like it. So I preheated the bottom of this book. I'm not, I have not preheated the top, but you'll see I set it to 125, the hit, hit meaning the um, pressing thingy, and it's going to drop. The temperature will drop here in a second, and then it will come back up. There you go. Then, 
I am not going to press this for long. Come on back up, fella. Let's get the temperature. I'm just going to go for about 10 seconds. I'll just start my timer here. And then we're going to take it out. And I'm going to take it off. And we did it this way because of the, um, because we don't want, we would normally use a tacking iron. And the purpose of this, what we're doing here is to get the, um, hold on, we're going to let that paper drop. There's going to be, there it goes. We've got underneath here, we want to make sure that that's going off. Okay, good. We don't want any paper hanging. One of the reasons we put this is to keep scratches from transferring from this the top board to the page, but we also don't want the book to hang up on that metal, which it is want to do. You see the pages have curled up here. That means we're going to need a cold press to get those out. But if we look on the back now, these are less visible than they were. And we're just going to check to make sure everything's going okay. And it is. There's no bubbling is what we would look for. We will look for melting. I don't see anything. So now that I've checked, I can put it back in here, make sure there was no problems that I could still solve if with the solvent if I needed to. This book needs more flattenizing. And so we are, this is a little bit uncomfortably warm, but I'm gonna put it in here. And now I'm gonna go up. Eventually I'm going to get this to 160, but I'm going to do this 10 degrees at a time. And then I'm going to check it every 10 degrees to make sure I don't have any problems with that tape. And once it gets to 135, we're going to do this every 10 degrees till we get to 165, and then we'll leave it there for about an hour. I'm sorry, not an hour. Um, 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. All right, let's see how we did. And I think we did okay. No. I have to remember that a lot of what I do here, I'm doing unconsciously, like holding this board up with my finger underneath <laughs> that you didn't see me do. Um, and, um, you know, when you do this, these yourself, you're going to develop your own ways of doing things that may or may not be different than mine. Let's see how our cleaning and repair did. Okay. That's even not quite clear, but less obvious. Let's look here. And this, we can, can we open the book now? We can, it's almost completely detached, honestly. If I'm honest, it's barely on there, but it's there. Then we have the back here. And how does this layout look? It's pretty good. If this did become detached, or it is, I'm afraid it's just barely on there. We could repair it. We could put a strip of mending tape down the middle here, or we could take some older paper and grind it up and fill in those gaps, and then we could poke holes and you know respine it. But that's a huge, huge job. Um, are these staples really bad? I don't know. take a look here but I mean we could if we wanted to these staples are not terrible in fact I'm not sure that they're the original staples but we could we could fix this and um, it's a it's a, you know it's a halfway decent book now so it's smooth it's bright that 100 is gone you know most notably from the cover so we'll uh, we'll bag it up here so I have two sheets of micro chamber interleaving paper I'll place in here which are not really paper there, cotton. And we will put another one in the back. This will help prevent acid and gases from harming the book over the next few decades. We're going to put a different board on the back. I don't have a lot of golden age boards and bags. So we're going to take this guy here. We are going to slide it into this 
top loader and we're going to make sure, absolutely sure, that we don't catch an edge of the book on it by pulling this up as we do it. All right, and then we look before we push it down, we look on the back, make sure there's nothing hanging, nothing there. And then we keep these things separated because we do not want them to cut the book. The back's okay. Pull this forward, push this down. Then, kind of tap it a little bit. There we go. This book is it's open top. It's not going to bend. The pages are mended. It is looking better. I could have fixed this, whiten it. Yep, I sure could. I'd like to too, but um, the paper is very brittle and I don't want to take the risk. So we're going to leave this one as is. Yeah.